Hello, this is Henry Thrash and that's Phantom Fox's channel at YouTube. And we are back in the living room. When was the last time uh, we were back in my living room? Ah, uh, when I revisited Black Sabbath's Master of Reality. Yes. So, but this isn't a uh, revisiting uh, episode. This is another review. Um, wow, another... Um, album review from uh, this year because of last review that I did uh, was for Def Leppard's uh, recent album. However, we are um, going to be reviewing a album um, that was released in August uh, 28th. Yes, I came late to Motorhead's Bad Magic. Yes, this review was coming. And man... Obviously, Motorhead uh, delivers every time with the, each studio album. It's their... It just... Uh, it's like a engine... Uh, like an old steam engine that just seems to uh, not uh, want to stop running, whatever. Uh, that's pretty much what it is. And uh, let me... Given the... Um, the recent health issues, whatever, on the album, it sounds like uh, that he's barely... Uh, like, you can't even notice the health issue. He's like a fucking mutant on a uh, record. He, he sounds like a mutant. It's ridiculous. But the songwriting and ever, it's still classic Motorhead. It really, uh, sure there's, uh, with uh, some of the more modern Motorhead albums, sure there's uh, little differences within their, you know, differences between the uh, modern stuff and some of the classic Motorhead stuff, but on this album it's practically combining classic Motorhead with modern Motorhead, which uh, to some extent there really isn't any uh, difference between modern Motorhead and classic old school Motorhead. And on this one, that's pretty much what you get. Album starts off at Victory or Die, which is just a Another killer track and goes into Thunder and Lightning, which has huge vibes of the song uh, Iron Fist. Very much has that feel. Great track. Uh, Firestorm Hotel. Just a great rockin' song. Uh, that kind of almost, um, even riff is kind of similar to, uh, oh, um, I Don't Believe in Religion or something like that. That was also off the Iron Fist album because this sound is kind of close to that album in ways. Uh, uh, what was another track? Uh, such as um, uh, "Choking on Your Screams," uh, which uh, has huge orgasmatron vibes, huge orgasmatron vibe, and even also, oh, what was a song that was also off of the, um, jeez. The World Is Yours, I think it was Brotherhood of, uh, something, Brotherhood of something, I can't, uh, the title, uh, doesn't want to come to me, but something like that, which, which that song had also some orgasmatron vibes as well, so definitely kind of close, and it's, I'm just gonna go on here, yeah, Shoot Out All Your Lights, which has sounds just like sacrifice huge vibes for from that song uh, it's definitely it's more close to the track sacrifice uh, even the way it starts off with uh, Mickey D's drums just uh, another good one uh, evil eye holy shit what another great track again it's just it's let me literally and co just sound uh, like they're uh, not running out of steam at all like they literally still got enough juice that they that they uh, the energy that gets thrown in these songs it's ridiculous um Junior also got the one of the other singles as well uh, electricity not a bad song definitely it's kind of almost close to like the world is yours a bit kind of but much better than some of the stuff off of the world is yours. Just cult, really great uh, 
uh, song actually it probably won't be the better one but it just seems to grow it's a grower of a song because Phil Campbell's uh, guitar solos are just like on fire that's my dog so how about you ignore her anyways um, you didn't get uh, the devil which is kind of a bluesy song on this one, but what's also interesting about this is uh, guest musician Brian May. Yes, him. Um, every you, you should know him. He's from Queen. Shit, he fucking rips as well. It's uh, it's kind of uh, and it's very interesting to actually see Brian May on a Motorhead song, cause fuck, he's uh, uh, he. Brings out a whole bunch of energy in himself. I, I actually find uh, it pretty cool to even have him um, play alongside a guy such as Phil Campbell, Mickey D, and Lemmy Kilmister. It's just, it's a little, to me, it's kind of great. Then you also got like Teach Him How to Bleed, another great track. Um, then you also got the interesting choice for cover, uh, which is. Rolling Stones, uh, Sympathy for the Devil, or of the Devil. Sympathy for the Devil. No, it's, it's interesting. I actually quite like it. I actually like it. It's, um, I'm not here to try and kiss, uh, Motorhead's ass or anything like that, but I actually kind of like it. I think it's more listenable than uh, the Guns N' Roses cover of, of the track. And then again, what, why the fuck do I need to really hear Axl Rose uh, again? Because uh, obviously Lemmy Kilmister can kick his ass uh, uh, any day and I, uh, and I really want to give a shit. Um, still great tr uh, album from start to finish finish. I, I really, there isn't a bad song. Then you also got also the kind of bluesy ballad, which is, uh, god damn it, uh, Till the End, which could probably can be very haunting uh, because of uh, Lemmy's health issues and the way that, that, that he's been going. It's, it's a bit of a haunting track, really, Till the End. It probably should have been the song to end it because with a title such as Till the End and the recent uh, incidences again with uh, Lemmy's health issues, it's like he's telling a message that this could end up being the last Motorhead album. Even though Lemmy will, uh, will pretty much will uh, pretty much will not want to stop playing the music, he pretty much has it where he will have to die in order to stop playing music but who knows that's why I kind of find it to be kind of haunting it's another good track as well very much uh, a good uh, melodic sort of track definitely to kind of give the album it's a little bit of uh, you know variety a bit you know but still just given the the fact with all his Hesh issues and him calling the track uh, Till the end, it seems kind of coincidental almost. Still, great album. I would say it's probably one of the best Motorhead albums in recent years. Hell, it even tops Aftershock. I can't. Aftershock wasn't that bad, but I can't. But for, for some reason, this sound just seems to top that album. I think I, I, I have almost more intense they actually play the track it's like uh, I can play the sound from start to finish and really have a ball listen to it and yet Aftershock was a great album as well but this one just seems to be much more stronger it's much stronger than that album but not the really crap on that because that's another I liked Aftershock as well but like but for some reason this one comes out kind of better Anyways, uh, this pretty much ends the review for uh, Motorhead's Bad Magic. Great album. Really, uh, this will end up uh, seeing frequent spins over the years. It's, I think it's going to turn into, a, I would say, another classic Motorhead album. I guess that's kind of blasphemy to say that, but 
I can't stop playing it, really. Uh, I can't, it's like the minute I turn this on, it's like a whole ball of joy. Even production, I actually kind of find it's a little better than Aftershock. Mickey D's drums just pound. It's very much, his drum sound is kind of closer to his drum sounds from like some of the 90's uh, Motorhead albums when he when he first came in. Hell, even his drum sound is even kind of similar to his stuff with King Diamond and even the, the Don Dawkin album uh, Up From The Ashes. It's got a, a, a real that feeling it really kind of also brings more to the to the album. It, it kind of lifts it a bit, gives it even much more life. There is life in this album, even though uh, Lemmy seems like a, that he's starting to lose some life. The album sounds like a, that he is not even losing it. It's not, not like he sounds fucking... Uh, What's the word to put it? Uh, he just sounds like like he isn't losing any energy at all on the track electricity. It sounds like he's running on uh, on fucking electricity. It's like the uh, minute uh, he starts losing life, the minute you, you put him in front of a fucking electrical system like a freaking... Like a car battery or something, you, you know, charge his fucking heart up. It's like he's like all back up and he's now l literally kicking ass. Anyway, good album. Um, definitely uh, uh, one of the... I will say definitely one of the best albums of this year. Hands down, one of the best albums of this year. Anyways, this is Heavy Thrasher saying, I am out.